Hello everybody. Welcome to a, a very game Attacks. game friendly attacking <laughs> attacking edition of Boxbusters. Yes. This is Dan Hit. This is Tracy Hackler. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And, and this uh, is Top's Attack. Top's Attacks. Dan. Let's attack. This attack is the, the box. The, the, this Tear is it open, Tops rip it apart. Colorful, uh, uh, gaming, 99 cent attack. Minded mm -hmm. product. It's hopefully it's a gateway product, Dan. It's a gateway uh -oh. product to get kids. From okay. this, is that a good thing? Yes, it's, okay. yes, it is a good thing. The gateway product is a good thing. Yeah, because it gets kids from the attacks game. One foil card or one code card in every pack. Okay. Six cards a pack, thirty-six packs, a bucket pack like I said, and Go. randomly inserted rookie autographs. I think they're odds. Yeah, we're supposed to get rookie autographs. Uh -huh. Step one. Oh, look at the first foil card I pulled in. And they are on card autographs, too. But the ahead. great Larry Fitzgerald. All right. Okay. Sure. Those over there. Uh, step one, pick your team. Each player needs 16 cards. Eight offensive players and eight defensive players. Offensive players must include two quarterbacks and any other six running backs, wide receivers, and tight ends. Use it any eight defenders you like. Each card is only used once per game unless the game goes into overtime. Okay. And then what? Do you keep on going? Funny you should ask, Dan. <laughs> Step two is you flip a coin to see who goes first. Okay. For overtime? Mm -hmm. Well, that makes I, sense. I don't think for overtime. Not I think we start the game. Yeah. How to score. How to, let's do this. Pick your starters. The player on offense places one quarterback and three other offensive players face down and the four offensive boxes on the game mat. Do we have a game mat, Dan? Um, we don't I have a no game mat. What, what's this uh, checklist on this product, Dan? How many cards is it? A lot. I don't remember the exact number, but it's 300 or so. That's one of the cool things about this product. Yes, it's a very get... deep checklist. And they do have a lot of defensive guys because they have to split it. Half right. Defense and exactly offensive. right. It's kind of extra defensive guys that have n no cards. Exactly. Uh, quite often have no cards. So, so even though this product isn't necessarily designed for the the hardcore collecting audience, it, it does appeal to them in, in that sense, and that it's a it has rare opportunities to get a lot of defensive players. I think so. Yeah, I think so. You can build a a, a pretty good team set for the team collectors. Sure. This is a good product. It's not expensive, so uh, for the hobby shop or. A dealer who likes to bust packs and build team sets and break them out that way. It's right. a good uh, break, I think. Sure. And with all the defensive guys, like we said, it makes a, a cool team set. And the foil, one per pack foil inserts or you got a red zone. small chase element. Vincent Jackson, who is a, as of now is in no man's zone because he's not playing. He's holding out. Right? That's correct. Yes, he is. Uh, there's plenty of rookies in the yes. product. Right? Plenty of rookies, sure. There's a code card. I'm not pulling out. The cards I'm not pulling out of every pack with the code cards. I'm pulling the foils out because... Mm. Okay. okay. All right. I think people like to see the foils. Here are a couple of examples of some of the defensive guys we're talking about um, that aren't going to have a, a ton of cards elsewhere. Stephen Cooper. Right. Chargers linebacker. Here's another linebacker, David Hawthorne from the Seahawks. He played pretty well last year. What about Geno Hayes? He has very few cards. Been around for a while. Good player. Humble. Yeah, he is a good player. Ed Reed obviously is no stranger to cardboard. But um, your point's well taken. I mean, it's, it's a rare opportunity. For yeah, so if you're a fan of the defensive player, which I hope there are plenty of those guys out there, uh, you, you know who some, loves a defensive player? I do, but go ahead. David Lee awesome. used to love the defensive player. Oh, gosh. He, he would always be bemoan the fact that Brian Urlacher wasn't more collectible. <laughs> <laughs> Ray Lewis or just anybody. Right. I think because he was, he was a defensive guy at heart, that David Lee. Yeah, I'm a fan of the defensive player, too. I think... Uh, those guys, for the most part, uh, don't get enough recognition. I'm not anti the defensive player, but I, but I also understand why they're not widely collected. Of course, of course. 
Now, Dan, is that a Klassen RC? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. These are rookie cards. It's a mainstream product with a full checklist and um, has all the, you know, all the all aspects the, you'd want out of a product to make it a mainstream for rookie card designations. Sure all, is. All the trappings of a mainstream set, if you will? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Here's a very, speaking of defensive players who are not collected, here's a, here's a very top-notch defensive player, Aaron Schobel. He was a right. great player. He, he was, uh, you know, virtually not collected. Well, certainly there are collectors for him, but uh, he's a good example of a great defensive player that uh, or doesn't make a hobby impact. Louis Del Mar. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, he's good. When's the last time or the next time that Louis Del Mar will have a foil <laughs> insert of some kind? Embedded yeah, foil but, uh, card. Not, yeah. That's pretty unique. It's very unique. Very unique. And Mrs. Del, Del Mas, I'm sorry. I can't even say his yeah. name right. Delmas. Del Del <laughs> yeah, I was going to say something, but. Delmas, I wish you would have. How about Laquan <laughs> Bolden as a Raven? Okay. Evermore. So uh, just like Tops, um, most Tops football products will have the veterans yeah. on their new teams. A couple of the big, big time players that have changed uh, teams in the off season. Bolden being one of them. Not too many people are talking about Bolden, actually. The Ravens. Right. I mean, get a little bit of press. We scored last week in the third, their penultimate preseason game. And, um, I think he's going to be a nice addition to that team. Here's a really nice bin for the rookie. And to Mrs. Delmas and Mr. Delmas, I apologize <laughs> oh, for, yes. for calling him Louis Del Mar. Um, well, I mean, that's how frequently you see cards at the True. And stuff, well, so. I'm a football guy, Dan. I should know his name. But, but he's also on the Lions, sir. That is a good point. <laughs> I'm vindicated. A defensive player on the Lions. I'm vindicated. Is Thank you. Not so much. Yeah, it's. Yes, uh, not so much. So that's t <laughs> Tops Attacks. And it's fun, and it's different, and it's geared for kids, but it also appeals to some, some diehards. Look for it everywhere that you buy your mainstream goods and services. I will. I will look for it, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Have a good you. one. Adios. <clears throat>